The Pringapol Society was founded in the 1930s and since then has been offering shelter to thousands of cows and other animals. At the centre there's a hospital for sick and old cows and those rescued from illegal abattoirs. The milk that is produced is distributed to the society's members and a biogas system is used to run the kitchen of the resident workers. The veterinary staff who take care of the cows are working to preserve the native breeds and are involved in a breed improvement program. This makes the Pringapol Society an important learning centre for breeders who come from all over the south of India. We are developing their breeds so that they must be highly economical and we are calling breeders to come and see and implement all those things in their area. Europe is a, with a country with cold climate where use of beef is advisable. Whereas India is a tropical climate country where beef is, consumption of beef is not advisable. But they came from Europe so they insisted on and uh, imposed the their traditions on Indians, then it became, it penetrated rather in Indian community and day by day killing of animal in a big way started in our country. And today is the scenario that millions of cattle you can see roaming in very highest cruel manner crossing one village to other one district to other one state to other and going to slaughterhouses and today it has become a very big economic problem spending say hundred dollars a butcher a group a businessman is getting not less than 600 to 700 dollars. That's such huge profit. The economic problem. Illegal slaughter takes place where leather is also a part of the trade. Not only leather, illegally we found beef is also being exported. Ah! <laughs> 